I can think wild and feel wild and let myself go where I want, I'm just conscious of every thought and emotion. If you are well balanced, everything that you can do in your life, you will do. You can download this process if you do it just before going to bed. It's a simple way of creating little distance. If I start my day in the right way, if I take care of my body, if I have the right conversations, then I feel more conditioned to handle anything else that happens. What do you do? <laughs> uh, well, I live my life wild. No discipline, I don't know where I will sleep, where I will wake up. If I sleep on the same pillow two nights, it's a luxury. I'm always somewhere else. So, uh, I don't have any discipline, except that my day normally extends to eighteen to twenty hours. Trying to slow down a bit, but uh, it's only picking up speed and momentum <laughs> But because I made myself in such a way that nobody other than me determines what happens within me. So nobody can frustrate me, nobody can make me unhappy or angry. So I have no issue if they wake me up at 2 a.m. in the morning and ask me something, I have no issue. The most important thing is, first of all, I made up my mind very early you know, in my life I've never applied for a job ever, nor did I go for an, any job interview or even think of a job. Always my family worried, how will you make a living? I said, I don't know. All I know is, if nothing works, I'll go. You know, I spent weeks in the jungles of southern India all by myself. I learned to survive there. I said, if nothing works, I'll go into the jungle, you won't see me, but I will live, don't think I will die. I know how to live. So, I don't see activity and people and challenges and impediments as anything that fundamentally disturbs me in any way. It's just that some things will make your work better, some things will impede things. So in that context, I'm looking, that's all. I'm never looking at any activity or any person as somebody who can make my life or break my life because I've taken that and kept it in my hands, absolutely. Or in other words, I'm just conscious of every thought and emotion that happens within me, so I can think wild and feel wild and let myself go where I want because it's only happening according to the way I want it. I think this is something you must do, as I said earlier, if you create a little distance, you will see, you will understand the whole mechanics of how this works. But if you're in it, it looks like it's such a compli complicated affair. It is not complicated. It is just that individual people are complicating it within themselves. And about being mindful, no, I am not mindful of anything, I'm generally mindless. Yes, uh, I don't have a single thought on my head. I don't have any knowledge or knowing when I walk on the street, I just walk like I'm a five-year-old boy, just joyfully <laughs> looking at everything. <laughs> it's a bird or a butterfly, man, woman, everything I'm looking at carefully, not with any intent, simply looking, because I have eyes. I must see everything that I can see. So, if you have keenness of attention, both internally and externally, I don't think you have to struggle with who will disturb you, what will disturb you, what will throw you off. No. See, balance, inner balance is the most important thing. You may have intelligence, you may have genius, you may have talent, you may have many things. You may even have a lot of wealth. Once there is no balance, all these things will turn against you. Your own intelligence will turn against you, your wealth will turn against you, your relationships will turn against you, everything will turn against you. Above all, balance.
I'm well balanced. You know, I came riding to Atlanta, I'll ride back on a motorcycle. I'm going towards seventy, but I'm still riding. And because balance, both inner and externally, you were balanced. It's very, very important. If you're balanced, whatever you have, your intelligence, your capabilities, your talents will naturally find the best expression possible. Or in other words, if you're well balanced, everything that you can do in your life, you will do. What you cannot do, anyway you will not do. But if you're not balanced, what you can do, you will not do. In your life, if you do not do what you cannot do, there is no problem. If you do not do what you can do, you're a disaster. It's my wish and my blessing, you should not become such a disaster. So, there is a simple process that you can, you know, you can download this process. Twelve, fifteen minutes a day you can do it. It's called as Isha Kriya. Initially, you listen to it and do it. It's guided for some time. If you do it for, let's say, maybe fifteen days or a month, after that you can even do it without any guidance, you can do it by yourself. Every day, just reminding yourself and linking your breath to it, especially if you do it just before going to bed. It's a simple way of creating little distance between you and your body, between you and the psychological process.